大家好，今天让我们接着上次的表达食物的味道来再加深一步，那就是如何来表达食物的各种口感。我们这里汇集了四种口感，分别是表达浓淡程度、表达稀稠程度、表达软硬程度、表达凉热程度。好，现在开始表达浓淡的情景。The sauce is light, not strong. The sauce is bland, not heavy. The sauce is mild, not too rich. The sauce is subtle, not too overpowering. The sauce is weak, lacking flavor. This cheese has a strong taste. This cheese has a heavy taste. This cheese has a rich flavor. This cheese has a bold flavor. This cheese has a intense flavor. The soup is strongly flavored with spices. The soup is heavily flavored with spices. The soup is richly seasoned with spices. The soup is boldly seasoned with spices. The soup is intensely seasoned with spices. This dish is too oily for me. This dish is too greasy for my taste. This dish is too fatty for my liking. 表达稀稠的情景 This sauce is too thin. It needs to be thickened. This sauce is too watery. It needs to be thickened up. This sauce is too runny. It needs to be thicker. The sauce is too thick. We can thin it out with some water. The sauce's thickness is just right, not too thin or too thick. 表达软硬的情景 The chocolate melts in your mouth. The chocolate is melt in your mouth. The cake is soft and moist. The bread is fluffy and light. The steak is tender and juicy. The beef tendon is elastic and chewy. These chips are really crispy. The crust of the pie is wonderfully crispy. I love the crisp texture of this apple. I love the crunchy texture of this apple. The noodles are raw, hard, and crunchy. The breadsticks are dry and hard. The steak is overdone. It's dry and tough to chew. 表达凉热的情景 The ice cream is frozen solid. The beer is ice cold, perfect for summer. The lemonade is chilled with ice cubes. The chilled seafood platter is a delight. Cold noodles are popular in hot weather. The soup is lukewarm, not too hot. The bread is toasty hot. The bread rolls are warm and crusty. This soup is hot and steaming. This soup is steaming hot. The steak is piping hot. The steak is sizzling hot. The tea is boiling hot. Be careful. The tea is scalding hot. Be careful. 以上的句子对您是否有帮助呢？是否不再惧怕表达食物的各种口感了呢？如果您听起来有难度，那就反复的多听多练。我相信您的英语水平一定会大幅的提高。好，今天的英语练习到此结束。我们下次再会。